Hello internet, welcome back to the Weapons. I am Safi. We're going to be talking about Guillotine today and why some people are saying she is going to become stronger than Scarlet now that she got uh, a decent boot. Before we start, don't forget to do a like and subscribe to help me grow the channel and also you can support my content with the links in the description below. Always appreciate. That said, let me show you the Reddit post. This is not the only one. There's been multiple, not only in Nike Outpost, but also on Nike Mobile, as well as some questions in Discord. So the next patch, Guillotine becomes a stronger than a Scarlet. If her buff go live as was stated in the patch notes, she'll deal more damage than Scarlet with same investments. So literally nobody talking about it, so thought I'll give you guys a heads up. It would be a good heads up if it was true. <laughs> also 119 upvotes. Interesting to see so many guillotine sims, which it's fine, it's fine. Go sim for your girl. All the power to you. I like the first comment. I want some of that Kobe Bobby. <laughs> Now, and then this comment is the more realistic one. So she becomes stronger, but I don't think she gets up to Scarlet. Unless you did the math to prove it. Also, Guillotine lacks a, board, a broad board. Is it it's a broad? White burst ability. Uh, there is some, some math in there, which I got. I think it's completely bullshit. So they are actually saying the Scarlet Opus is this one here. And then Guillotine with the boobs is this one here. <laughs> now, let's check Guillotine uh, for a second. Uh, first, before we check the changes and we talk about numbers. Do you think Shift Up will make a already underwhelming unit become a meta when it comes to b3 dps units not only meta but the stronger that probably one of the most desired characters in the whole game which is scarlet there is zero chance they do that and if they do they will nerf that later because once again they want to sell the scarlet banner at some point and they will we don't know when but it will happen that said let me check where is my guillotine here she is to start right now i need one more for the background even though i don't really like the background but it's nice having all of them. So, skills. She got numbers on skills 1 and 2 tweaked, but the important one is on skill number 1. Residual hit affects self-activates after landing 30 normal attacks. This was previously 100 normal attacks. She will get a critical rate up and HP down. Just like Scarlet, instead of cutting herself, she shoots herself. She will also, when she is below 70% HP, get an increase of attack for every 1% of HP loss. Meaning, you need to keep her at least below 50 to 40% HP for this attack buff to be really good and noticeable because it actually goes up a little, which is pretty nice. Other than that, she also gets a critical damage and critical rate increase. She is a machine gun, meaning if you go for, to overload her, which I would not recommend, you go for max ammo, you go for elemental attack damage and also for attack. The three base stats for most DPSs in this game. That said, what's different from a Scarlet and why she will never be able to catch up. She needs to lose HP in order to gain the attack boost. This game will always prefer attack boosts rather than critical. That's because how damage formula works. Now, the difference with this is a Scarlet permanently will always have an attack buff no matter if she loses hp or not because her first skill blood for blood activates after landing 10 normal attacks affecting herself attack increase 23 percent stacking up to five times and lasting for five seconds and also losing hp she doesn't need to be low hp the only reason you want to keep a scarlet low hp is to get critical damage up for six percent continuously which even if you want to have Satoichi always up is not worth it compared to the attack move. So you will always pair her with the healer so she can stay alive and deal more damage. And that's the biggest difference. She doesn't need to be losing HP or at a specific percentages in order to get the attack buff and deal more damage. She will have 23% stacking up to 5 times and you were telling me Guillotine will compete with that. Let's actually check the numbers for the skills on Guillotine on level 10 actually to see how much she gets with the attack buff. If you were to keep her below 70%, she will gain almost 1% for every 1% of HP loss. Again, you need to be below 50 to 40% all the time in order for that attack buff to be comparable to Scarlet. And even then, it's not comparable. You will not compare that. Realistically speaking, the more you play this game, the more combat power deficit you are pushing under, which means, like always, you are not going to be surviving with units like this. You need a healer. You need a shielder. You need boots. You don't need someone that kills themselves and that you need to maintain them at low HP. That's obviously when we are talking about general lines. Does this mean that Guillotine is going to be a bad unit? No. She got stronger. She got a nice boot. Does this mean she is stronger than Scarlet? 
Absolutely not. <laughs> that will never happen. Once again, Shifta will never put units that are stronger than Scarlet and Modernia if they are not pilgrims or unless people find a way to exploit that like for example Alice Quickfire. So that said, if you want to invest in Guillotine, I would not recommend it personally. There are plenty of B3s that are just better. But if you want to do it, once again, Max ammo, attack, elemental damage. She's the same element as Scarlet and Haran, so once again, I see zero reasons to invest in her right now, long term, for elemental content and for electric content and bosses. Sure, Guillotine could become a staple of one of your DPSs. Not the main DPS, but a good addition to ramp up the extra damage. All that said, do let me know if you think I am copying here because Scarlet is my favorite girl and actually Guillotine is a lot stronger now. I don't think she's bad, I don't think she is as good as people are giving her credit for because even most people that are running tests and showing results those results are shit <laughs> they show the results and there's no video where she's getting more damage same levels multiple pieces overload she doesn't get the same output the only place where you may be able to see that is union raid which is always the worst test anyone can run in this game it's absolutely worthless that's it just a small run video do let me know what you think guys thank you to all my patrons for making this content possible if you want to join them jump the links in the description down below good luck with your pool degenerates and see you next time ブランとノワールの正体まで。ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。